Now, just we'll look question number one. I just given very crisp idea, almost all concept, whatever involved in your numbers, whatever involved in your numbers. This question number one, it is your CAT 19 paper slot one. If the population of a town is P in the beginning of any year, then it becomes three plus two P in the beginning of the next year. If the population in the beginning of 2019 is 1000, then the population in the beginning of 2034 will be. How, we, how many ways we will able to think? One of the ways there, okay. It is given in the form of how it is increasing the population. Means it is given in the form of 2p plus 3. What is this? This is arithmetic progression with common difference equal to 2 and a starting term equal to 3. Okay. Let's simple we will apply the arithmetic progression formula and we will able to get it. That is one of the way. That is one of the way. This way also we will able to get it. This way also we will able to get it. Only problem will be there if you are starting with P and it is changing to 2P plus 3. Then here calculation of 3 will matter because uh, once you are looking this equation 2P plus 3, what will come in your mind? It will come in your mind common difference equal to 2 and first term equal to 3. But first term here, you are just taking just previous term. You are not no, it is a starting from 3 or not. Or what is the value of P? What is the value of T? Then based on this, you might we get some confusion, but it will be encountered. That is not a big thing. But another beauty, we can just these questions, we can because it is given in variable format and your solution has given in your uh, uh, number format, then this variable we can reconvert. How we can write all the solutions, all the options in the terms of variable. And we can put simple n equal to 1. How to write here? 997, we can write p minus 3 into 2 to the power n minus 1 plus 3. Similar way, option b, we can write p plus 3 to the power n plus 6. Option c, we can write, I think writing only will take little time, but just convincing. Once you understood, no need to write all all detail immediately you will able to guess and that guess will be almost perfect okay now what we have to do just we have to put n equal to 1 if n equal to 1 then consecutive here it must come 3 plus 2p if it is coming then it is fine n equal to 1 here then it will become 2 to the power 0 it will be 1 p minus 3 plus 3 it will become p itself means a will not there b n equal to 1 p plus 3 plus 6 it will become p plus 9 this is also not there here if a here sorry it will be n not 15 we have converted in terms of variable n then n equal to 1 then it will become p plus 3 into 2 minus 3 it will come 2p plus 3 this is your correct option just check if any others are coming like option D also coming 2p plus 3 then we have to put next value n equal to 1 it will come p minus 6 itself means we can mark option C C for Calcutta it will be your correct choice this is simple way or otherwise not I think not tough questions moderate question you will be able to solve now question number 2 that is also from 19 paper slot 1 Product of two positive numbers is 616. If the ratio of difference of their cubes to the cube of their difference is 157 ratio 3, then the sum of the two number is. One of the way, if you are good in math, then what you will do? Okay, two numbers are there a into b equal to 616. And afterwards, it is given something a ratio of the difference of their cubes means a cube minus b cube divided by a minus b to the power cube that is given 157 by 3 correct now anyway if you will solve this equation you will able to solve it but how to solve this equation how to solve this equation this is one of the challenge here means very less number of time if you have five minutes for one question then okay no problem you will able, you will able to solve but if you have very constant of time how to solve it it is little difficult one of the technique here we can apply simple technique if you are good in Vedic math what we will do here just suppose common factor is k then this same thing we can write 157 k divided by 3 k where k was the common factor it is for factor multiplication it was common 
it has cancelled out due to you can say base ratio has given 157 ratio 3 but it may not be exact number 157 3 it will multiply with some number some factor multiplication just suppose it is like this now this number you can equate with this this number you can equate with this means two separate equation you can make and afterwards you can put a put uh, a into b format wherever you are getting you can utilize this 616 the you can say almost 10 liner questions you will able to solve it first you will get the value of a minus b and afterwards you will get value of a plus b not easily you have to apply again identities algebraic identities a plus b whole square equal to a minus b whole square plus this 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 now just i am changing the gear can we think in different way if that much information is given in questions why not we can think in different way we know this is 616 and we can write very easily in the form of factors how we will able to write in the form of factor just i am writing in detail way to get the idea of the numbers nothing else otherwise you will be able to write in direct way also 2 a square into 154 how numbers are changing just try to focus on that okay this is the multiplication of two number and that number difference we know it is a 3k format means if we are picking these two number from all these available options this is given three number of twos one number of seven and one number of eleven then if we are making some selection whatever best possible and if it is coming in the multiple of three then we can assure that only number will be there here like if we are taking eleven here and two one here then how much it will be twenty two remaining here four and seven twenty eight what is difference here six three k four we can say these two only number will be possible when difference will be in the form of 3k already just use whatever given in question you are not using your knowledge you are not using your anything whatever is given in question you are just cheating from that same same data 22 into 28 some will be 50 you can mark before bombay but if you are going this way how much time it will take due to i am telling concept of number will be multiple way it will be used actually it is algebra, algebra type question looks like algebra type question based on the algebraic identities if academically you will categorize this question then you can say it is based on the algebraic identities but if you are solving based on the algebraic identities how much time it will take but if you are preparing algebra and numbers together then you will be able to think this is not only algebra question this we can think in different way and once we have broken this number what is your common sense because it is given a and b multiplication not given the common factor if just suppose this same question has changed little bit changed little bit okay, this 616 is the multiplication not multiplication it is a multiplication of their ratio means a by b equal to something will be there this is ratio given and a into b equal to 616 then we would not sure but here it is given product of two positive number this sense we will find this exact number will fall down in 616 only it cannot go beyond that it cannot shrink further because it is not in uh, it is not a base number it is exact number then just will factorize these two number will come out from this only then 22 and 28 that is only best possible because 6 is coming difference and uh, then it is